Good day everyone! Today, we ABM 11 students will discuss these three types of graphic organizers, which are Compare and Contrast, Character Map, and Clustering. Let us first discuss what is a graphic organizer. A graphic organizer is a visual and graphic presentation that displays the relationships between facts, concepts, and other ideas. Knowledge maps, concept maps, story maps, cognitive organizers, advanced organizers, and concept diagrams are all terms used to describe graphic organizers. It helps students of all ages to organize, clarify, and simplify difficult information by allowing them to explore their relationships between concepts. Now let's discuss the first type of graphic organizer which is the compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast is type of graphic organizer that helps students to compare and contrast two concepts according to their features. It also helps us to identify the similarities and differences of an object or thing. It is commonly used to determine the superiority of one thing over another, to show how something or someone has changed, and to show that two apparently similar things are in fact quite different or to show that the two apparently dissimilar things are quite similar. We can use this type of graphic organizer to compare and contrast our life before and during pandemic. Before pandemic, we are free to travel, face-to-face -face classes, and we can work outside. While during pandemic, we are banned to travel. Schooling is virtual and modular, and we are working from home. Similarities on our life before and during pandemic are We are still working hard, we did not stop studying, and lastly, we can still communicate with others. Second example, comparing and contrasting virtual learning and face-to-face -face classes. In virtual learning, online classes can be done anywhere. Students don't need to go to school. It may be synchronous or asynchronous. And studying at home can be distracting because of household chores. While in face of his classes, his studying need to be done at school. Teachers and other students can provide you with further information, anecdotes, and real world experiences. And you'll be able to focus more on your studies because there will be fewer distractions than at home. They are both similar by the following. Group and individual activities still exist both types of classes require knowledge, and both are useful to teach students and achieve quality education. And lastly, we can compare and contrast Jose Rizal and Andres Bonifacio. Jose Rizal is best remembered for his literary works No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo. Both novels criticize the Spanish regimes, abuse, and corruption while encouraging national identity. On the other hand, Andres Bonifacio is known for founding the militant group called Katipunan. Though inspired by the ideals and novels of Rizal, Bonifacio fostered the Katipunan as an armed resistance movement in order to establish Philippine independence. Similarities Both of their intentions is to free the Filipinos from the Spaniards. Both of them love our country, and they are both brave heroes. Character Map A character map is a graphic organizer where the students analyze the traits and attributes of a character in a story that use a simple drawing of a person with questions connected to the person's symbolic features. Using a character map, the students can identify and distinguish the different aspects of a character such as the character's physical appearance, actions, what he or she thinks or believes. And how others interact with him or her, it also helps students learn about the character and how the character impacts and is impacted by the setting other characters and plot. Let's use this character map to resource the Moibara from the story of No Limit Angere. First description, Crisoso Maybara is a wealthy young mestizo and he believed in the power of education. Here are the personality traits of Ibarra. 
first, he has a Spanish-looking feature but Filipino colored skin. He is a humble and well-educated person. Ibarra is also respectful. Rough behavior. He is ambitious because he strongly wants to have an established school. He is also impartial because he treats all people equally and fair and he shows selfless concern to others. Lastly, Phyllis. Ibarra was angry at the party because Father Damaso insults his father's memory, which causes Ibarra to almost kill him. Juliet is a beautiful and strong female character. Juliet displays inner strength, intelligence, bravery, wit, and independence. Shy and innocent girl, passionate. Handsome, intelligent, and sensitive. Impulsive and immature. Rami is a young, passionate, and impulsive. Infatuated. An old vendetta between two powerful families erupts into a bloodshed. A group of mass Montag risks further conflict by gate crushing a Capulet party. A young lovesick Romeo Montag falls instantly in love with Juliet Capulet, who is due to marry her father's choice, the country Paris. Clustering. Clustering is a strategy for condensing a large topic into a more manageable topic for a brief essay or book. It's a writing strategy that can help you come up with new ideas, diagramming, webbing, looping, and mapping are all terms for the same thing. Cluster analysis is broadly used in many applications such as market research, pattern recognition, data analysis, and image processing. Here's an example of clustering that our group came up with. Social media is the first topic. Different and numerous examples can be found on social media. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram are the most popular and widely utilized social media platforms among students and people. Facebook Facebook is used to share information including critical and essential information in order to help others learn more and improve their knowledge. Facebook is also used for communication, online classes, and connecting with people from all over the world, whether locally or globally. Twitter is utilized to convey our views, ideas, and opinion about the information we receive, and it aids in the discovery of social media challenges that we have faced and continue to face. Twitter is also utilized to keep us up to date on current events both nationally and internationally. TikTok. TikTok's concept of entertainment helps people entertain themselves whenever they are bored or when they have free time to watch. TikTok also helps businesses advertise their products or services through videos or slideshows of contests. TikTok can help you showcase your talents and skills just like dancing, singing, and even prompt speaking. Instagram. Instagram is used to provide crucial and essential insights into some information that has been obtained and allow us to share images by using both photos and videos, which helps to build and boost confidence by enhancing abilities such as digital arts. Coronavirus disease, also known as COVID-19, has symptoms and effects as well as treatment and prevention. Prevention COVID-19 can be prevented by washing our hands properly with soap at least 20 seconds or singing the complete happy birthday song, keeping a safe distance from others of around 6 feet, becoming fully vaccinated, avoiding crowded places, and following medical advice. Treatment If you have COVID-19 infections and symptoms, take vitamin C, Call a doctor or healthcare provider and put yourself in isolation at home for at least 14 days or more. 
As a result of this, we will be able to prevent similar occurrences and damage in our community and country. Symptoms Some of the COVID symptoms include loss of taste, inability to smell, trouble or shortness of breath, severe exhaustion or tiredness, muscular arches, physical discomfort, cough, sore throat, and a high temperature. Stay at home and keep an eye on yourself if you experience any of these symptoms. Effects The impact of COVID-19 on people in our country includes less income due to limited job opportunities, triggering mental health issues such as stress, anxiety, and depression, closure of facilities, but for business and entertainment purposes, disruption of economic security, and approved changes in the education system's learning mode, specifically online classes. These are the harmful impacts of COVID-19 on our economy and, most importantly, on its people.